with two different colors of paper of exactly the same size, we are going to fold two similar modules and then assemble them into a very beautiful tetrahedron. And with a slight variation in the modules, we will be able to make tetrahedrons of various shapes. This is called as a two square tetrahedron. Take a square paper which is 15 centimeters on the edge. First, bring the two opposite, opposite edges together and fold the midline. This would be the midline. Now open the sheet. Place one corner on the midline and fold such that the crease passes through the top right corner. Crease well and repeat this on the other side. So now you will have two two creases with a parallel white strip in the middle. Then upturn the model, bring the two corners together and fold the crease. You can see the a small blue triangle on the left. Fold the small triangle inwards. Reverse the model and again fold the small triangle in a similar manner. Now this will be one single module. It is a complete module. We need to fold two similar modules. Now these two units of the tetrahedron are ready to be assembled together into a tetrahedron. The sharp corners of one will go into the pockets of the other. So you really have to tuck in the flaps into the pockets. Similarly insert the corners of the second into the pockets of the other. This will make, this will interlock the two units into a very beautiful tetrahedron. And now this is a regular tetrahedron where all the angles are 60 degrees. And now for several variations. In this model, we will increase the size of the folded triangle as shown. Increase the other triangle too. Now bring both corners together and fold. You will fold an isosceles triangle where the base of the angles will be bigger than the previous model and the apex would be smaller than the previous one. You can assemble both these modules together once again to make a tetrahedron. This tetrahedron will have a different shape than the previous one. In this case, the base angles would be larger and the apex angle smaller than the previous tetrahedron. Like in this variation, you can, while folding the module, you can always change the size of the triangle and produce tetrahedrons of various shapes. We will just have a look at the various tetrahedrons which you could fold with a little variation in the modules. Uh, here is a wonderful way of folding a tetrahedron by assembling two similar modules without using any glue or staples.
Here you can see an array of five tetrahedrons, each having a slightly different shape when compared to the other one. 